I just absolutely love the look of these Axopars for some reason. If you've never been on one, they actually are a really solid ride as well. Welcome back guys to this week's episode of Boats vs. Hallover, where Man and Machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet in Miami, Florida. And Hallover's firing a little bit today. It's going to be an interesting one to see how our captains fare as they step in the ring and try and do battle at the inlet. But let's go ahead and get our five round competition started. And our first vessel to step in the ring and try and do battle with the Goliath is going to be a Midnight Express. And man, our crew's got the throttle pinned a little bit of a following sea coming behind him man they blast out there that one is close we have to go back to the replay and take another look at this one to see if they stuff the bow and it is super close with all the water there it's really hard to get a good look and see if they were able to exit this one clean but it looks like just barely this bow is going to stay up and we're going to go ahead and give the boats a win here in the first round which will give the boats an early one to nothing lead. Let's see if the captain in the second round can keep this momentum going. And man, this one's never good. Here we go with a hurricane deck boat coming out of haul over on a moderately rough day. Of course, with people in the bow of the boat. And let's go ahead and do it perfectly and do it in an idle pace as well, which we know just doesn't fare well for most vessels. It's going to keep the bow down and they're probably going to get into trouble like we see right here. Our girl takes a smack of water to the face, winds up in the floor, and... <laughs> People, I know this looks like fun, but people can get hurt with this, man, because now she's down on the ground and likely is going to struggle even getting back up. I mean, it's a rough day here at Hallover, and this boat really doesn't have the capabilities to handle it. So as we can see, she's down on the floor, and Hallover's just going to keep pounding them, making it difficult for her to get up. But here's what's really probably going to happen. They're going to catch a wave at the wrong spot at some point in time. She's going to smack her back her rear end, and that's going to be the point in time she says, you know what, I better get up. Kind of like what's about to come right here here up we go and down we go and she's like yeah this sucks let me get out of here unfortunately you're not getting out of here without the loss and the boats will take a loss in the second round this will move us over to our third round and here we've got a Carrera making its way out of haul over this crew actually has a pretty solid pace right here they got the boat just barely up on step keeping the bow high to try and make sure they don't stuff it and really are making a good approach at trying to tackle haul over on a very rough day but our guys getting a little heavy handed on the throttle. Things get a little out of control. We almost lose a girl right here. And man, things turned fast. He kept accelerating and just got this boat going a little too fast for the conditions. Here we can see our girl hanging on. She tried to move her hand and things go wrong from there. We lost a life jacket out of the top and we're just lucky she was able to hang on just enough. She had two hands on the tower at one point in time, kind of lost control, tries to go back for the tower, but it's just a little late. Hallover really rocked this crew pretty good, and I'm going to have to give Hallover the win in this round. And that's going to give Hallover an early 2-1 to one advantage as we move into the fourth round of our competition. And here we're going to see Miami-Dade Fire working its way out of Hallover Inlet. And they look pretty solid. They've got this boat up on plane, hugging the south side of the inlet, doing what they need to do to make sure to get this vessel out safely. And man, we're going to get a twofer here as we've got another vessel coming in. Now this crew looks like they had a rough ride in. The anchor locker's already open, but they've got the boat up on plane, blasting their way into the inlet, and both of our boats make it without fail, and that's going to give the boats a win in the fourth round. And this will move us on to the fifth round of our competition, tied it to a piece, and man, I should give this crew a loss just for homeboy's bathing suit. But that's not part of the competition. This crew's making their way out of haul over. They've got the boat going at a pretty decent pace for the conditions. I mean, they've got it where they're keeping the bow high, doing everything they can to try and make sure they don't stuff it. Now, I don't recommend on a rough day like this, one, wearing a bathing suit like my man's got on, but two, standing on the gunnel's not a good idea either. But I can't really fault them. None of this is against the rules at this point in time. So the crew looks like they're doing okay. I hate to give this crew the win, but I may have to. Oh! They take a couple heavy shots here at the end, though. Did Hallover pull enough off to make it work? I mean, our guy is standing here. The boat kind of goes up. And man, it is super close. Did they stop it? It is really tough to tell. Man, it is... I'm going to have to let you guys call this one. Who takes the win in this episode? Does this boat take the win? Or does Hallover take the win here in the fifth round? Light it up in the comments. Let us know so we can figure out who won the episode. And I'll announce it in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Boats vs. Hallover. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got the Miami Boat Ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens in the boat ramps in South Florida. And if you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.